Hello everyone! Hello! How are all of you guys doing? Oh my goodness! It is finally the weekend. I hope you are all having a wonderful day. My day just got better because I have made up a fresh a fresh cup of peach tea. So I'm quite pleased about that. And I'm also very excited because it is niche Saturday. We finally get to settle in with our little fruit bats again. In fact, let me go ahead and start pulling some things up because I've got some things to show you guys while we do our usual relaxing first 10 minutes or so of just kind of hanging out together. Oh, here's a sneak peek of what we're gonna be working on with the Fruitling tribe today. Give me just a second because we have, well, bam! Okay, it's, there we go! You've been ta ta <laughs> We have some really awesome new fan art, you guys. So I'm going to let that kind of play for a second and just see how you guys have been doing. Um, let's settle on in. Ouch, ouch, my tea is a little hot. Jeez, Louise. All right, there we go. All right. Can you guys hear me? That is like point number one. So let's do a sound check. Testing, testing. Can any of you hear me? Hello everyone. Hello maple tea tree. I appreciate maples, teas, and trees, so I like everything about your name. Hey Callium! Hey, I'm so excited to see Professor Callium in our Patreon Discord today. Callium, I just would not be our niche streams without you because it you have just made all of our niche series so much better through your hard work. And hey Rada! Oh, I saw you hanging around earlier. So excited to see you. This is gonna be so exciting. Uh, and the Bohemian Genealogist, you are right. We are in uh-oh territory with our three food. That is actually going to be some of the stuff that we're going to have to start tackling in our stream today. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, we're going to be working on that. But all right, guys, as usual, I'm going to give it just about like seven-ish more minutes because I know notifications can be really weird for YouTube. And it's kind of fun just to have a minute to settle in with all of you, admire the cool new fan art, and just kind of see how all of you are doing. So for those of you who joined us in last night's stream, which was fun and fantastic, by the way, we have a lot that we will be doing in our zoo crafting series when it comes to building up the meadow of horses. I am so looking forward to that being kind of like a streaming special series that I look forward to for the future. But during our live stream last night, if you guys didn't know, I flooded my kitchen. I turned on our water filter, which we now have. And I forgot that I left it running because I was so excited to start streaming in the meadow of horses with all of you. And I flooded my kitchen. <laughs> and I had to clean up the flood midstream when I went downstairs to get more water for tea. I basically ran around in a pan, like panic. I almost said in a pantic. I guess pantic is like frantic and panic mixed together. I was so panicky and so frantic that I became pantic and I ran around pantically in little circles going, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. And then finally I realized I should turn off the sink for one thing, get the beach towels and clean up all the water. Amazingly, I did all that in less than five minutes. So <laughs> that was, that was last night's stream. Uh, and I did end up actually fussing up to Chips. It turns out he watched the end of the stream when I was like, okay, so now people, nobody can tell Chips I flooded the, uh, the kitchen. Turns out he had woken up and was watching the end of the stream. So he found out I flooded the kitchen from my own mouth. Um, but I, I thankfully have Chips watching the water now. So hopefully we will not... <laughs> Uh, we will not flood the kitchen again today, but it was just really cute. So that was, uh, imagination is cool. It was, it was a pretty good flood actually. Um, gosh, and you know, these are really not mixing up the fan, the fan art as much as they should. So I'm going to change how they play back. There we go. It was a pretty good flood. It covered the entire counter. It was kind of like a gentle, a gentle relaxing waterfall uh, off the cliff of my countertop is forming a, a pleasant pool of, uh, I, I suppose we'll call it like future mop swamp. <laughs> so I actually ended up mopping my kitchen floor midstream. So I guess that was useful. 
But yeah, no flooding today, thankfully. When I need more tea, uh, we actually have chips watching the water. Uh, so thankfully, that's taken care of. <laughs> But it was pretty fun. And I can't believe I cleaned all of that up when I was looking at all of the towels that I have to wash today. And I was thinking about how chaotically like covered in water my kitchen was. I can't believe I cleaned it all up in like five minutes because I was so frantic to come back to you guys. But that sounded kind of dramatic. So I'm going to share three joy moments with all of you before we start, because I think every day can be full of joy. And I hope that that is a lesson that you guys will take. Uh, one joy moment is that we've been getting a lot of niche fan art lately, and it has been fan art for zoo crafting and all the other series too, actually. And it has been making me so ridiculously happy. And I have been having a lot of fun organizing it and trying to come up with new ways to share it in our videos. So I'm really looking forward to that. And then my other joy moment is that it's sunny today and hopefully spring is on the way. And my third joy moment is that we get to eat a lot of bugs in this stream. So <laughs> those are my three joy moments. We have three more minutes. So you guys tell me, tell me some of your joy moments. What are some good things that have happened in your day or your week? I would love to hear. I, I just... Honestly, it boosts my spirits and make, makes me feel like we can take on whatever Niche has to throw at us today, whenever I can just hear how how happy you guys have been. Or even if it's been a, a struggleful week, even if you've got some challenges, if you had just something that made you smile, it just makes me so happy to hear about it. And then we'll also let my peach tea cool while we do this. And thank you, Antia. I hope we won't flood my kitchen either. <laughs> oh, Maple Tea Tree, you're so sweet. Me? <laughs> or I guess if it's Siri, S-I-R-I, -I, you very much appreciate the iPhone's uh, little assistant. Oh, Lin, Lin, your puppy learned new tricks? That it's so cool. And then Kia, you got a new horse in Star Stable? <gasps> I am so excited. Oh, William, okay. Penguins are really cool. Oh, Weird Side, you made Peach Tea too? That is so cool. Wait, LPS, your birthday's in three days? Is it three more days? L L my LPS life, is your birthday on the 26th? Is it the 23rd? I don't have a calendar in here. I don't, is it the 23rd? Hang on here. It's the 23rd. LPS, is your birthday on the 26th? This is important. I, I swear it's relevant. <laughs> oh, I'm I'm sorry to hear that, Super Angel. But you know, old age is, I think, a, a good way to go as a little hammy, if you must. Oh my gosh! LPS Life, my birthday's on the 26th too. High five, birthday buddy. I'm turning 31 on Tuesday. I wish you a most likely much younger birthday. Uh, so hey, birthday buddy, that is so freaking cool. <laughs> That's really cool. You found six great grandparents, Bohemian Genealogist? That's amazing. And that also sounds like something that I would expect you to do with a name like Bohemian Genealogist. Oh, and Retta, you got to enjoy a few days off with your fiance? That's wonderful. I'm really happy to hear about that. I really am. Whoa, and Kayla, you got two new ball pythons? That is amazing. I really, one of my favorite snakes I ever got to really hang out with long term was my friend John's uh, ball python. She was such a sweetheart. Ironically, his girlfriend had pet rats, uh, but they made it work out. And they were pet rats, by the way, not python food. But they, it was just such a cute situation somehow. One of them had ball python. Other one had rats. And they, they lived in harmony. Not together, mind you. <laughs> but it was kind of cute. Oh, oh wow, Kovu, sitting in bed last night, drinking tea, looking out the window while thinking about life and hearing the sounds of the night. Kovu, that's poetry in a joy moment. Thank you so much for sharing that with me. And also, you guys, thank you for the cake. So, all right, guys, you ready? We're going to go ahead. We are going to settle in. It is time to dive in to today's niche adventure. Ah, let me take a fortifying sip of tea. Is it cold enough yet? Ah, there we go. 
<clears throat> I wanted a little bit more. But okay, so... <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Last week was absolute chaos. I cannot believe that the great Prince Garlic, who happened to be the long-lost wanderer from this very land, has returned to us. And with Garlic returning, we also have his protective nanny. You guys might remember her, Nana Achu. But Nana Achu, who is unfortunately a sickly nicheling, uh, has returned as well. And she she actually almost got fed to some of the plants because we feed sickly nichelings to the plants. But she swore that she was the protector. You could not throw her into the plant. Thank you very much. She was the protector of Prince Garlic, whose family once ruled as the royal fruit bats over this land. And so we made a deal with her if we found this so-called Prince Garlic, she could live. And th thankfully for her, we found Prince Garlic. We also unfortunately lost a few nichelings. We lost, tragically, Banananananane uh, and Nanat died of old age, but offered themselves up on their final day of life to the plants of the forest, the great ancestor plants, where they became one with the forces of the jungle. Uh, oh my gosh, Retta, I'm so glad that you've become like a fan of niche. I totally have to do the same thing and hide some of the games that I love from myself. I don't even want to admit, by the way, how many hours I have sunk into Civilization VI and RimWorld the last couple months. I have work to do, Siri, so I had to hide them from myself, too, so I totally get that. <clears throat> anyway, segue. We did lose Nanat. We also lost, um, but nay, 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 nay. And in a terrible, miserable twist of fate, we lost Yutsu. Do you guys remember what happened to poor Yutsu? All right, let me, let me hear it from those of you who were present. What was little Yutsu's fate? I would love, I would love to hear it from all of your guys' point of view. If you could, you recall Nanat, and he, he told his son a lie, that he, you know, your old dad planted this nut tree. I sure did. These are, these are my, my nut fruits that are fallen from this tree. Uh, that's right, boy. Mies, who's that? The goddess of, uh, these plants? No, 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 your dad planted this nut tree. Nanat told his son a terrible, blasphemous lie that he planted this tree to impress little Yutsu. And little Yutsu, um, <laughs> little Yutsu ended up believing his father and then wished under the tree that they had blas blasphemed against the goddess Mies, who plants all of these nut trees for the nichelings of the realm. Uh, Yutsu wished under the tree for a friend. And what happened from there? Hmm. Yes, Mies is revenge. <laughs> Mies killed him. Technically, Mies didn't kill him. Technically. Um, technically. <laughs> but his wish for new friends arrived in three unexpected ways. The first way is the Baryana who showed up and began to attack him even though he was spiky bodied. Mies threw an angry Baryana at Yutsu and then the plants ate him. Yes, Oscar. I very, very, very much appreciate the, that summary because that's kind of what happened. Oh my gosh. Yeah, he was chased into the plant kitty dragon by an angry mama Baryana. And so that was the first thing that happened, is that Yutsu met his first death. And yes, his first death. We'll talk about that more in a second. But he met his first death running and fleeing from an angry mama, Berina, who had decided that she was going to have him for a spiky little fruit snack. Uh, the second tragic thing that happened, uh, I mean, if dying from a Berina wasn't enough... Well, I guess actually the Barina and then dying is one in two tragic things. The third tragic thing that happened to Yutsu last time is that he did make a friend who literally died the next day. His bones were somewhere over here. He didn't get eaten by one of the ancestor plants. So he just kind of crumbled into the dust of nothingness, which is the worst fate that these poor fruitlings could imagine. You want to become one with the island by being eaten by the ancestor plant, not crumble into nothingness. But yeah, so poor Yutsu, lied to by his father, met an angry mama Berina, 
ended up uh, dying because he was trying to flee the angry Mama Berina and got eaten by one of the ancestor plants. And then he also did make a friend who died the next, like, the next day. The friend had, like, one day left to live. It was miserable. However, the happy tale for Yutsu is because he died as a healthy nicheling of early age, uh, he got reborn. <laughs> So that's that's Yutsu's tale. He was actually reborn as Yutsu knew the second, uh, indicating that this is Yutsu. So I like to imagine that our little Yutsu, our little spiky bodied boy, spent one brief terrified moment going ah as the plant yanked him into the uh, into the the depths of itself. And then he was reborn as Yutsu knew. And so I just kind of imagine that he's sort of like poking at his new nose going, what just happened? <laughs> and getting ready for his rebirth. Uh, because that's how we will handle it when a nicheling who shouldn't have died by ancestor plant dies in early age. Um, and that was Yutsu and I just didn't want to lose him yet. So he's doing good. We've got him over there. Uh, let's see, who else is doing what? Drag or passion is over here. Dragon fruit has fallen in love with uh, garlic. Dragon fruit and Prince Garlic are beginning to to form a small family of their own. Dragon fruit's actually very happy right here. There's a nest. There's like these delicious fruit berries that she can't do anything with because she is of the like guard class. That means that she can only explore and dig. She can't really do anything else useful for us. Uh, but garlic has begun to fall in love with dragon fruit, and it seems fitting that the child that he had with coconut is not actually, not actually like a new spirit. It's just like the body was created for one of our our nichelings to be reborn. So I just love the idea that little Yutsu, uh, Yuzunu is kind of like just touching his long royal snoot, going, "What happened?" Why do I have this nose now? Why is my voice so soft and tiny? So, uh, oh, and then we have Radita. Okay, we'll get to what we're going to do about Radita. Our very first double-winged flying uh, little toxic-bodied bat baby in just a minute. He is perfect high nobility. He just also is sickly. So normally we would have fed this baby to a plant so that he could be reborn into not such a sickly body. Except everything has been going terribly wrong and we've been very busy. All right, so let's see. Then over here we have Banana the second. Who? Do you guys remember this little one? Oh gosh, I think she's a little shy. <laughs> do you guys remember who's hiding in the grass? She's a little bit shy, so uh, let's see. Ah, sorry, more tea. Yeah, I named I named the baby Radita because the name was too perfect. <laughs> Come on, a purple toxic body bat winged baby. That was fantastic. Oh my gosh. And yes, Pulsey, I did I Pulsey, I did end up naming the baby after a Pokemon because it was just too cool. But here Hidden within the grasses, my friends, we have the teeny tiny itty bitty Tala. Little Tala is a wanderer who appeared uh, kind of out of the blue, which surprised all of us. And well, out of the shadows, really, because she's all black. Uh, but <laughs> yeah, no, she's not named Tata. -ta. Her name is Tala. I think it's quite a lovely, dainty name. And she is the very first poison fang nicheling we have. Uh, she also has scorpion tail recessive. Oh my gosh, I didn't notice that before. <gasps> Tala, who else has scorpion tail? Can we bring back Banana scorpion tail? We might be able to bring back Banana scorpion tail, you guys. We have Durian -in 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 right over here. He and Tala have good immunity, right? They have good immunity. We might be able to bring back Scorpion Tail. Oh my gosh, that would be so cool. Okay, we're gonna have to look into that. She's also got a uh, sticky tongue and she has uh, Savannah horns. So she is quite the array of interesting genes. I am pretty excited to see where she's going to take us. And she also is hopefully going to help us to unlock, uh, dun, 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 toxic body, wrong menu. 
And hopefully she will help us to unlock toxic body so we can have more toxic body fruit babies because when she's older, she can collect on toxic berry bushes. Uh, we do have one toxic body baby with Radata right now, but he cannot actually gather anything from the bushes. So she may be the amazing nicheling who unlocks toxic body for us, which would be really cool. Uh, and then we've also got Limina No No No. She has unfortunately gotten the 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 terrible corruption sickness. She wandered into the corrupt lands and ended up getting the bugs. So we'll have to we'll have to have Zunu come up and rescue her from that in just a second. He's constantly in charge of all the little ones, if you ask me. And then we've got Ah oh, yes, Tape. Tape? The, the son of the first of the royal snoot line is quite excited, you see, because his mother, mother dearest, has pointed out to, to Tepe that he is of royal lineage for quite some time. And so, you see, he is going to be jumping up on top of this stump right here. He is very hungry. And there could, there should clearly be a gathering class of nichelings, servants, yes. His royalty, he should not have to gather his own food. I mean, he might eat a delicious bug. That is his duty, to eat the bugs that the other nichelings cannot. That is what makes him a royal fruit bat. He will rise to that occasion at least. But, uh, everything else? Servants? Servants? Gathering class, come to me. Uh, Taper is going to be spending a lot of his life actually on this tree stump trying to sing out and attract mates because he does believe that he, as the first inheritor of the royal snoot, should have the most lovely of females who he's very picky about how they smell though. I think anybody who uh, doesn't smell good to him, which in my world with nichelings, if they have opposing immunity, they smell good to each other. So if he met a female with A and B immunity, he would think that she smelled quite attractive. But if he met a female with D and K immunity, he would think she smelled horrendous, like rotten, like rotten bananas, perhaps. Nobody likes a rotten banana. Uh, and he just wouldn't have anything to do with her. But Tepe is almost quite ready to, to summon himself some servants. So we'll be working with him shortly. His mother, Coconut, only has four days left to live. So I actually have to get her to... Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Right over here. I never thought I would say thank goodness to a, a plant before that will eat my nichelings. But we need this one. So we will actually be sending... Um, Man, that's going to be hard for me to say goodbye to Coconut. But we will be sending her off. And then we will also have a little Yuzu new. I think he he still has the spirit of Yuzu. So I think he kind of just wants to go back to his tree. And that makes Tepe quite happy. Because he is the eldest. He is the leader now that his mother shall soon be passing away. And he, she, she, he will miss her. He will miss her. He is quite the mother's boy. But, I mean, in their eyes, she's just going to return to the forest and will be all around him anyway. So I don't think he's going to be too upset. Uh, and then finally, on this half of the island... <gasps> Kiwi! Oh, I forgot about that. Kiwi actually has to go over to the plant. We have to get Kiwi to this plant. Oh, Tapere, you're going to have to help. But we also need food. Oh, boy. But we need to get Kiwi to the plant so that we can say goodbye to Kiwi. It is his final day, and it will be tragic if he does not, like, find a way to return to the island. I will be so sad. And then we've got Burbberry, and we have got Capybara, who have been trying to gather up food on this side, too. Uh... <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is this is going to be a little interesting. There's so much food over there. I know there's like one plant over here that will eat us. We really need to spread more of our nichelings out. The wandering and defensive class. The well, I guess we'll just they not really wanders, but like the the protector class, which is what dragon fruit and her her sibling passion and their brother durian and in the protective class would serve us very well scattering through the island a little bit so we could actually figure out what's going on. But right, that sums up what everybody was doing. Another quick sip of tea. And really quickly, we shall review dun 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 the stream goals.
Oh, and that's a good point. Is there, we'll have to see if there's a healing plant. We'll have to see what's closer, a healing plant or the plant that's going to eat him for Kiwi. Because he only has two moves before the end of the day and one day left to live. So we have to figure out what we're going to do with him one way or the other. But all right, friends. All right. I know it is going to be so hard to say goodbye to Kiwi, but I have a feeling today's adventures are going to take us quite far for all of our little fruitlings, and I'm very excited to see where they go. So today's stream goals are peered up in the jungle. We do a pretty darn good job of that if you ask me. Radita runs away. I will have to share my secret plan for Radita fleeing from the fact that the rest of the tribe, once they're less distracted with starving to death, wants to basically feed him to the carnivorous plants. Um, we do have a plan. We have an emergency escape plan for our little Radita. I guess that's a classic Pokemon move, isn't it? Run away. Oh, this is really good tea. So I'm quite excited to do that. We will try very hard to have Radita flee and protect himself. And hey, Beth, I'm so excited to see you. Right, his petal leaf? Nobody, oh my gosh. <laughs> Little base, uh, that is so hilarious. You guys are right. You know what? Our nichelings don't happen to have a Pokeball, so they can't catch baby Radita, and he can flee before they feed him to a plant, right? But we'll work on that in a little bit. Uh, but we also have servants for the royal snoot as one of our goals today. As I mentioned in the previous life, as we have found as the legends have come to light, thanks to the peaceful bear and garlic's return, uh, along with his nana, uh, achoo, nanny. In the previous world, we had at the top of royalty, the royal fruit bats who ate the bugs of the corruption. They were protected and watched over by a protector class, and they were all cared for by a gathering class. So the royal fruit bats protected everybody from the corruption from the bugs. The gatherer, or the gatherers fed everyone, and the protectors kind of like defended the island, gathered in wanderers who were coming from lands that had been destroyed by the corruption, and defeated Berina and other creatures who were trying to eat them. And yeah, Oscar, you actually just admitted uh how he's going to run away actually that was very smart so we're gonna think about trying to find some gathering classes because we have struggled so much with feeding ourselves lately and we're kind of distracted trying to breed up some of those toxic fruit bat babies that i really really want um so if we can get a gatherer class of having a bunch of servants like little tala then we'll be able to turn our focus more towards actually having really cool bat babies also, we need some food. <laughs> so those are our stream goals for the day. Very, very much. Uh, very important. It's going to be kind of tricky. But yeah, Oscar, you totally figured out how Radita is going to run away. Uh, so I'm just going to kind of come down here. You guys may notice Radita is a baby. He can't really do much right now. But I want to see how many of you guys recognize this. What is the one thing the one and only thing, Radita, Radita, the toxic fruit bat baby, that they want to feed to a plant because he was born sickly and they believe he should be reborn into a healthier body. What is the one thing Radita, this little guy right here, can do that nobody else on this island can do that may save his biscuit yet? What's the one thing this tiny, tiny itty bitty little guy can do? Oh, we'll see. Live and Pop, I think garlic does repel a lot of things, but there's some irony in having a bat-headed creature named garlic. It's kind of like a, a running joke about how we've inversed vampires here. There you go, little beast king. Claws and paws. Hey, claws and paws. Skylore, Lexi, Dana, Jacob, Bella, 
<laughs> Galaxy Space Universe says it best. I believe I can fly. I believe I can fly. And hey, Backlog, we have two purple nichelings, actually. Ha ha! But yes, so Radita is too small to do it right now. And he can't really do anything. But I'm going to let him roll in the mud to hide his scent. And he can fly. So Radita is going to fly as soon as he can to get away from the fact that all of these people want to feed him to a plant in the belief that it will make both the jungle and his reincarnation healthier. So he's a little concerned about that, but we will handle it. All right, next concern, Kiwi. So let's take care of Kiwi. This is going to be tricky. Kiwi really has to make it to this plant unless there is no healing plant. This is a termite. That's a termite. There is no healing plant nearby, guys. So we're going to have to just admit it that it's Kiwi's time and that he's going to have to leave. So let's see. Can I clear... Kiwi, can you make this jump now? Okay. What about... I think Kiwi can make two jumps. <sighs> okay. Let's see if Kiwi can make these jumps. One. Okay. All right. We're good. Whew. Okay, guys, um, we're going to leave that till the very last thing of the day. But Kiwi has just emerged. Tapir heard a rustling, uh, a rustling in the bushes, and he came down and was quite surprised to find Father Kiwi. Is that his dad? That is actually his father. So Tabir, who is much, much, much more a uh, mama's guy, uh, has just met his father here in the forest. And I think that he would be like, father... I, bearing the royal snoot, I shall carry on your lineage. Because he does have his father's mane, at least. So he does have a little bit of kiwi going on here. So that does make me happy. But we'll come back to kiwi. I think that unexpectedly, at the very end of his life, even though Taper is such a mama's boy, he and, and kiwi, like kiwi and Taper, they're having a bonding moment. An unexpected moment between father and son where Kiwi can speak of the lost lives of the previous tribe uh, and, and express his pride in his son for his snoot bug-eating ways and the hope that this will be the rise of a new era of the fruitling bats. But also maybe don't be quite as much of a jerk as your mother, please, son. <laughs> All right, so we'll be able to take care of Kiwi. That leaves us with a lot of food over here, I think. And I think there's a danger plant right here. So we need to be careful. But let's see how much food we can get from here. That's one piece of food. Capybara, do you have better collecting? You totally do, dude. Um, Burb, I think that there's danger plant over here, but I can't remember. Can you clear that? And then let Capybara jump here. Oh, thank goodness, there's not a danger plant. Okay, so we're going to have Capybara raid the stinky fruit tree for food. Burb is going to gather up some food here. Whew. I know, guys. I know. <laughs> Jazz, Jazz, oh my gosh, you are just about to slay me. Jazz said, Father, I shall carry on your legacy. As I bear the royal, Kiwi flings himself into the carnivorous plant. He is so tired of hearing about these royal snoots. Yeah, I actually could see Kiwi being like, that's, uh, that's good, son. I'm a little old now. Hearing's not the best. Fly. <laughs> I could see how Kiwi would be like, well, maybe when I'm one with the jungle, I can stop hearing about the royal snoot for crying out loud. <laughs> <laughs> that would be kind of awesome. All right, where's some more food? Uh, let's see. Oh, right over here. We actually can have Coconut go ahead and eat some of the bugs here. And I think she hears the buzzing of the insects, but Zunu is going to come up and get those insects off of Lemonono. Um, probably not the best move I could have done in terms of food, but it's very important to save Lemonono. Uh, from dying from the sleeping sickness. Well, at least just losing some of her life from the sleeping sickness. And Zunu, would you be one to fall in love with Lemon and Ono? Nope. You guys do not smell very good to each other. Oh, thank you, Lix and Fluff. Thank you very much. I highly appreciate that, Dala. Very, very much. It goes to, to feeding me more peach tea, which I, <laughs> I need a lot of to get through these streams, especially when we had such a long one last night. 
Hey, Zombie Pigwoman, I'm sorry. I know the notifications are so fussy sometimes with YouTube. So hopefully, like, they'll get better. Um, so we'll just have to see what happens. That's why I try to take the streams nice and slow. They're usually around 2 p.m. on Saturdays for me. Anyway, let's see. We're getting close on food. Can we make it? Garlic? One, two. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, so we're good on food today, which is a good thing. Uh, let's see. Do we have some food over here? We do. But no, 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 no. Actually got a couple good spots of food. Wow, that wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. And he can even jump up here because we really want but no, 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 the second. And I've been wanting no, 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 achoo to end up like finding love in but no, 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 the second because they both have toxic body and they would smell good to each other. Yeah, I, I think that's a love story just waiting to happen. All right, let's go ahead and jump. Little baby Tala can't do anything. Uh, we also did, I think, I don't remember if we tamed the friendly Barina. We did. So we do have a new friendly Barina going around that I think passion might possibly fall for. So we can try to increase even more of the Barina lineage and genes that we've got going. Because I think passion, how cool would it be? To have these amazing savannah horns on a defender type nicheling. That would be so cool. Oh, hey, Leopard of Amber. Hey, Lemon Pop. Oh, gosh, it's so good to see all of you guys. Aw. Hey, Ren. Good to see you too. And Bella. Ah. Yeah, the notifications are so wonky on YouTube. There we go. Okay. All right. So we've got enough food. What was, uh, let me check my stream goals again. All right. Radit has going to run away. Servants for the Royal Snoot. Toxic Fruit Pass. Okay. We're doing good on all of the goals. All right. So then I, the other thing I just really quickly wanted to do is that Passion, hmm. Passion's like one of the defender line. So I want to start changing. Oh no. Hang on. Okay. Go slow, Siri. Go slow. I'm going to change all the defenders. So they're basically, and does she have, she does have some bat genes though. So she needs to be defender and noble, n nobility. This is how I've done it in the uh, Rise of the Phoenix lately too. I'm going to make the ones who are typically defenders because they don't have any other good traits. So they're really meant to be kind of wanderers. They're supposed to greet the wanderers and assess if they are good additions to the tribe. They're supposed to explore the edges of the island. They're kind of the ones who are supposed to escort nichelings into the um, ancestor plants when they're old or if they're sickly or if they've been deemed as bad additions to the island and need to be reborn uh, or just like given to the island. But the wanderers or, or the defenders, excuse me, will be kind of our main explorers and sort of like the, the police force, basically. And actually, dragon fruit is one too. If they have some sort of bat gene uh, or some sort of insect eating gene, then they will also be like part nobility. And the reason I'm doing this is so that we can at a glance tell who's supposed to be doing what because our tribe is getting much bigger. And ones who are going to be considered, uh, like, they can do more. Like, they can actually get some collecting done or maybe some insect eating. Garlic is just straight up high nobility, just like coconut. So coconut is straight up high nobility. Uh, and then because he can collect, so is little Yuzunu, but we can't do anything with him. And Radita... He can only eat insects, but he's kind of straight up high nobility because he is is a full bat. So he's nobility. But I'm doing this so that it'll be a lot easier when we're trying to figure out who's supposed to be doing what. We can just tell at a glance. So this would be like another defender. Lemon, no, no. She doesn't have... She has recessive bat head, but she doesn't display it at all. Hmm. Have we unlocked bat head yet, guys? Give me a second to organize all of them. And that way we'll be able to move a lot faster. We have not unlocked bat head yet. So let me know, no, no. Uh, you know what? You have recessive. So you'll have like, you're, you're supposed to be, there you go. Yeah. She'll, she'll be kind of like 
I think she's kind of like gathering class though, because she can do a little bit of dig. Well, she all she can do is dig. She's actually just the same as dragon fruit in terms of uh, rank. Give me a second. There we go. But then little Tala here. Well, actually, she has sticky tongue. Gosh, this is getting a little more complex. But she can also collect. So she she would actually be gathering, which is green. Where's my greens? Oh, wait, wait. she started with green. Sorry, guys. Hang on. I really need to organize this or else I'm going to be caught up on it. But she would be green mixed with nobility because she can gather stuff. I guess digging could be a trait, but I feel like digging just isn't useful enough to be considered a gathering trait. And then fishing, like kind of, to be honest, but no, 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 is sort of in the same... In fact, he's just straight up wanderer, isn't he? Hmm. He's kind of like wanderer and collector. So he'll have a green middle button. So we know he's supposed to be doing a little bit of collecting if he can. But I just feel like diggers are not the most useful. Meanwhile, na 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 chew. Hang on, guys. No bat traits. So she would straight up be a collector, which is all green. And then to pair. <laughs> oh, he can actually collect a little bit. So he would actually be, uh, he's considered high nobility because he is descended from coconut though. So he'll, he'll be high nobility as well. And then we've got Kiwi who's about to die. So I think it's a moot point. Uh, and then we have Burbeak who is also high nobility mixed with collecting. So I guess I'll leave the middle one. There we go. Noble with a bit of collecting. That's good. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and change to pair back to green. So noble mixed with collecting, so we know they can do other stuff. And Keepybera. Oh, he's got Berina snout. He's got Berina claw. He's got that scorpion tail. Tala, you good addition to my little tribe. I might have some scorpion tail bats flying around. Toxic body scorpion tail bats. That's the kind of random genetics I'm talking about. Um, so he doesn't have anything bat related though. Can he collect? So he's actually a collector, Keepybera. Fascinating. All right. That's like the most important role he could have for us. So, and then I think I'm going to change garlic to being nobility. Well, he's like storyline high, high nobility. Um, so never mind. There we go. Okay. Thank you guys for your patience. <laughs> oh, I should name one peach tea. One day I should name one peach tea. <sighs> All right. Let's wrap this up. Coconut is going to jump over and get comfy in the mud. We're going to go ahead and have na 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 a chew, gather up some more food. We're going to continue. Ooh, durian in and got a little bit of a root there. Oh, he unlocked big nose. Durian in and in. Oh, that's so cool. He unlocked big nose, guys. Should we give him big nose? I kind of love to give the nichelings who unlock the genes the gene as like a, a reward. Do you guys think we should go ahead and give him big nose? Oh my gosh, Callium. Give Radita a scorpion tail and he revives into Gligar. <gasps> we have to unlock scorpion tail. If only we could. Oh my gosh. I don't think we can unlock scorpion tail here. Can we? Where's my tails? Aw oh man, we can't unlock scorpion tail. I would love to give Radita a scorpion tail and then his children could be Gligar. Should I give Durian and in? I should give Durian and in big nose. Because durians are stinky. Ah, oh, Elza, Aya, Zombie Pig Woman, Kayla, Tis Petal Leaf, Angel, Star, Abigail, Little. I'm so glad you guys agree with me. Beth, I think we need to give him Big Nose. Because durians are stinky. <laughs> so... We're going to give him big nose. That's perfect. Uh, all right. And then finally, okay. See, now I know, okay, passion is noble, but she is mainly meant to be a defender and an explorer. So that really helps me figure out, all right, she can actually come down and start clearing away this grass. So I know what the heck is going on on this island for once, which would be wonderful. So she's going to start exploring things over here. Oh, that's so cool. Hey, Peyton. Uh, okay. And Kiwi. Oh, no. Okay. Tala. Oh man. Okay, guys. I spent as much time frolicking. I even organized my nichelings. We talked about our joy moments. I've used up all of the tea and the one of two tea peach tea mugs I currently have. It's time. Just really quickly, we're going to let the ads play by. Or not the ads. I meant the, the nicheling fan art. 
Uh, cause some of them somewhere will have kiwi in them. Because it is time to say goodbye to the final of our founders. Or, no, no, no. Coconut's still around. Sorry, Coconut. You're, you're so sassy. Uh, but it is time to say goodbye to the second to last of the founders of this tribe that we started, oh, so not that long ago. Kiwi. Goodbye, Kiwi. Another one shall bite the dust. He started out as such a young, oh, that's the perfect one to actually end on, such a young and curious nicheling with his two sisters of his tribe uh, that were adopted by Bananane, needing a new future. And he found it here, here in the jungle. Look at what they have achieved since then. All right, Kiwi, fear not. You shall simply become one with the jungle. Yeah, also sorry about that coconut. Forgot about that, you know, you're actually the last of the three founding niche links. But we will always have you in our heart, Kiwi. Oh, thank you guys so much for the Kiwis and, and emojis. Why do emojis make me so happy? I don't know why emojis make me so happy. Maybe it's because they're like stickers. Oh, you guys know how much I love stickers. I think the emojis are basically stickers and that's why I love them so much. But let us go ahead, rest well, sweet prince. And he is gone, my friends, he is gone. Rest well, Kiwi. Uh, hopefully you will be, well, he's old, so he might not be reborn immediately, but he did have a good run. Um, and he has left behind many children, including Tape, father who I think is a little bit confused by things. I think that Tepe would actually feel very lonely once both of his parents pass on, uh, and he would want to surround himself with perhaps someone who smells, who smells like a rose of delight. So he may be searching out his wonderful smelly, well, what's actually the best smelling fruit out there? Whoever the, we're gonna see if we can attract a wanderer or somebody new that Tepe might like. And then we're going to see if uh, he can... He, what's the best smelling fruit? Strawberries? I think strawberries smell the best. We will see if he can find his very own strawberry. The best smelling fruit of all of the island. Who cares about roses? You can't eat a rose. I mean, I guess you could. But it won't fill you up as much of a strawberry. So, yeah, I think Kiwi needs a nap before his next life. He's been a little busy in alternative universe. I agree, Oscar. All right, so let's assess the situation. Well, it looks like Coconut, who dies in three days, gets a little bit of a snack and also gets to make herself very famous. I mean, think about it. Think about it, guys. There's buzzing right now. It is a ne another day. Kiwi has passed on. The island's strength clearly becomes a little bit stronger. Ooh, oranges actually smell the best. <gasps> okay, we'll have to discuss it when we have a new wandering female that smells really good to pair and he would want to take as a mate. Um, oh man, oh man, my mouth is like watering now. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you guys are talking about all this amazing fruit. <laughs> oh my goodness. But uh, imagine, Kiwi has just passed on. And here we have Coconut of the Royal Snoot. And the entire island freezes as they hear the buzzing of the wings. The terrible, corrupted wings. Everyone who is not capable of eating insects cringes in fear. Dragon Fruit pulls her, her bat wing protectively over her pregnant stomach. Little Durianin tries to like hold back on the deep fear that he suddenly feels. But no, 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 the second feels a jolt of terror as they hear the buzzing of these wings. And without hesitation, despite the attitude that she has, Coconut steps up and without, without even uh, pausing, nibbles those bugs. What corruption. The island is now free of all fears. So that is why they made her queen. Uh, so all right, she is doing good. That took care of the only situation that we had to deal with there and gave us enough food. Awesome. All right, let's go ahead and have to pair Scooch over. Uh, I think he... Hmm. Tapere, I didn't know you were so close to Kiwi. 
that you would throw yourself into the plant in despair. By Scooch Over, I was thinking he could have a snack. He just saw his mom eat some bugs. And I was like, hey, I know there's some insects right over here. Hmm. It appears I really need to work on clearing the grass away. It appears I really need to work on clearing some of this territory so I can see things. Uh, but -na -na -na. would you mind some, would you mind helping? I, I know this isn't your usual, uh, but I have a situation at hand. Nanana -na -na Achu might actually use this opportunity to perhaps introduce herself to Banana -na -na. That might be a good thing, maybe? Potentially? Capybara? Do you have a moment? Hmm. It's a pear. Hmm. Uh. Yutsu? This is why in royal families, they have the heir and the spare. Just FYI. <laughs> uh, dragon fruit. You're pregnant, but we could use your assistance potentially. Um. Oh yes, Zunu. Hey, why don't you destroy that bush so we got some food? And let's have, oh, Lumina, no, 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 no. Come on down. I need some help. <laughs> You don't even have that much attack. <laughs> Prince Tepere has slipped into the plant. Uh, that uh, All of the nichelings would accept that that should not happen to a young and healthy nicheling. However, we do have the spare to the air. Just FYI. Uh, garlic, food please. We're gonna, we're gonna need, we're gonna need a little bit of energy for this. And then durian and 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 and. I really need to start mapping out. Uh, everybody else is fleeing over there. I could really appreciate if you could start mapping out where the plants are for me, buddy. I would be very grateful. Very grateful indeed. Radata, aren't you lucky that everybody's attention has shifted away from the baby who that they want to feed to the plant yet again? Is this, the plant has regrown by the way. Is it danger plant or is it non-plant? Who knows? Well then, Burberry? Um, gonna need some food. Might need some help first. Since we've already started, let's go ahead and just continue to clear the grass so that I cannot kill all of my nichelings. All right. So, if he does die, Tapir will be reborn. But can you imagine the tragic irony of being born without your snoot after being of the royal snoot line? I, I think he would like run away. So let's go ahead and see what's gonna happen. Okay, all right. Oh yay, we unlocked normal fertility for surviving on the island so far. <laughs> oh my gosh. Also Toto Corizon, thank you very much. Yeah, if y'all aren't here for the drama and the role play, I don't know why you're here. Uh, it's kind of interesting. To pair, thankfully you haven't taken that much damage. We should be fine. But no, 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 no. If you could help me, holy cow! What the heck did we just unlock? Ram horn, claw. <gasps> you already have genes in here, so I can't do anything about that. You guys, should I give Lemon a no, no, no? Ram horn and claw, since her father unlocked it, trying to save the prince. I think we should do it. <laughs> Calium, thank you. I know, right? I actually think making mistakes and rolling with like unexpected events and random moments. That's why I have so many random generators in all of my series, by the way. I think not playing perfect gameplay is much, 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 much more fun than just telling stories with the mistakes you make or random things that happen or randomizers. I love it so much more. Yeah, you guys think we should? You guys think we should give Lumina no no those traits? Like as a gift from her father? Yeah, yeah, let's do it then. Okay, let's go ahead. We're gonna give her ram horn. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and give her claw as gifts from her father to her uh, that she can now have because she does have one paw that doesn't work uh, after all. And it would make her a banana guard. Yeah, banana guard's the sequel. <laughs> 
I forgot how our little Cupid knee, Cupid heartlings were working on banana guards before we got dragged into the jungle. Uh, all right, there we go. Let's see if we can save him. All right, Limited No No. Limited No No saved him. Huzzah. Uh, does she smell good? Oh, man, can you imagine? And Tapere would be like, I have been rescued with his tiny voice. Fantastic. I shall live another day to seek out my delicious smelling mate. And then he will glance down and, and see, well, she doesn't have any of the traits that I was really physically looking for in a mate, perhaps. But does she smell good? Uh, it, like, you know how, how you're rescued by your prince in shining, or the knight in shining armor? I kind of feel like to pair was like, is this my knight in shining armor? Is this, is this the wonderful smelling fruit of my heart? And it would be one of those moments where you're, you, in all of the stories, you immediately fall in love with the person who rescues you. But all I can think is that Tapere th would think that could happen, but then lean over with his long snoot, give her a good sniff, smell that immunity K, and be like, oh, never mind, thank you. Hmm. Carry on, carry on, I, everything is fine. I shall nibble upon one of the uh, the kumquats of, uh, the healing kumquats at some point. I, I, I just was overwrought with emotion, missing my father. There we go. We'll clear, and he wants everybody to see that he's fine, so we'll clear the, the ground away. <laughs> Ah, there we go. All right. So then we also have Coconut. She has two days left. Oh, fudge to the knuckles. Uh, oh, fudge to the knuckles. <laughs> that's an unprotected baby. And that's a hungry Barina. Well, oh my gosh, there's another Barina baby. Have the Barinas like just started showing up because it's now safer on the island? What the heck? All right. Turn around, passion. We're gonna need defense. Also, smell carefully, Passion. <gasps> okay, Coconut, I guess, unfortunately, good for you. <sighs> this is a, a nice plant that we're going to have to feed ourselves to. Um, don't get too close, mind you. All right, Passion's gonna sidestep the plant carefully because it is not her time to return to the island. And she's gonna jump over here and she's going to deal with this Barina in just a second. I think her sister will come down to help. So we'll kind of guard the baby because that's what the guards are here for. And then we'll let Coconut go ahead and have one final nibble of bugs. And then she needs to come down here the next day, no matter what. So that's what's going to happen there. I know, what prophecy did he receive? Actually, that's a good point, Dana. I almost forgot that. If a nicheling wants to speak with the ancestors, they can step into the plant and then come back out of it while they're young and healthy. I completely forgot we were going to do that. Thank you for reminding me. Let me have a little sip of my tea and think. What prophecy do you guys think he should have gotten? We have a little handful of ancestors so far. And I totally forgot, if a healthy nicheling does willingly step into the plant and back out, they get a, a prophecy or they get a, a fortune or a foretelling or advice from their ancestors. So what do you think, uh, what do you think Tapere just learned from his ancestors while he was stuck in the plant? Ah, <sighs> I love tea. <laughs> Rose, all will die. <laughs> oh, Evie. Yeah, I think the uh, prophecy about his future mate. Perhaps he was told he should not look. Uh, he 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 should follow his nose. Sure, because that will lead to healthy children. But he should look beyond physical appearances. Uh, so that's what we'll say about to pair. Maybe he should look beyond physical appearances. And because he's noble lined, we actually need to make sure that he can pass on some traits. I think, I think it should be good. Yeah, I think you guys are right. He received a prophecy about his mate. And I think that the prophecy is going to be that... I think because he's noble. Okay, yeah. That he should look beyond the physical traits. He should look beyond appearances for his mate. Uh, also that he shouldn't be quite so confident. 
Yeah, and maybe, I agree, Retta. Maybe he got a, advice about his future mate, and so that's why he thought the Lemon and No-No was going to be the right one, but he was told to follow his nose and his heart and not be so judgmental about physical appearances, and she is not the one. So we'll go ahead and kind of leave that be. Meanwhile, na 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 a witnessed this entire situation and i think she's calling down to banana no, 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 the second and going are you all right she also has nine days left to live so she needs to start finding a healing kumquat pretty darn soon here uh no 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 it's you for now she's gonna gather food right now but she needs to get this healing kumquat pretty soon and limina no 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 i think is going to jump to this side of the island to kind of reassure everyone that things are okay and these two, hmm, hmm, I thought something was there, all right. It regrew. Hmm. Well, let me know, no, your assistance, please. Capybara, sorry about that, dude. You get to have a prophecy now, too. I think that uh, I totally forgot. Burberry must have gotten one as well, but I forgot about it. So we'll, he, he forgot about it in his distress, I think. <laughs> so, um, Capybara, you sit. You get your prophecy. We'll get you out. I think that I'm getting a little bit of a... I can feel it coming to me now, my friends. A slight vision. A vision telling me. Siri, clear the freaking grass. You can't see anything and you're killing everyone. So yeah, we're gonna have to go ahead and do that. All right, so garlic, yep, food. Uh, hey, Durianin, I think you could definitely serve the entire tribe by finding some healing plants about now. So could you do a little exploring? Maybe start searching out some more healing kumquats because I'd highly appreciate that, buddy. I'd highly appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. And Ranata, I think you're going to just casually sneak over here so you don't get anybody sick. And Nala, are you all grown up yet? You are not. So I think she's just going to be quite happy as a little clam hiding in the shadows right there. So, all right. Is that everybody? Sure is. How's today going to go? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> we just avoid my guards because they, they, nobody is going to get eaten here with so many distasteful appearance niche links. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. Well, coconut, no! You had sleeping sickness? You had to return? Oh no, you guys. Coconut is going to die outside of the plant. This is terrible. This is tragic. I think it's actually her hubris. Queen Coconut is going to have her spirit be lost in the chain of the island's energy. She'll just end up straight up with the rest of the Nishling Pantheon. She won't get to just kind of chill and, and boss to pair around as he tries to pick a mate. He will be free from his mother's influence even in the afterlife because unfortunately she got sleeping sickness from trying to defend the island from all the bugs and now she cannot get to the plant in time. This is so sad. This is so sad. Oh man. And I think I think the only thing we can really say is that Coconut, like, one, this is kind of karma because she was a little bit of a snoot snot. Um, but two, you know what? I think she's going to realize that her spirit is going straight into the Nishling after realm and unfortunately will not stay within the life force of the island. But these bugs are still here and they are a threat and with great nobility and, and only a slight moment of sadness that she will not be reunited with Kumquat, Benene and her brother Kiwi. She will go ahead and sacrifice her final moments in life to save the rest of the tribe from the corrupted insects. Oh, you have died saving the tribe, Coconut, in a terribly ironic and sad twist of fate. I think Kiwi is going to get a lot more peace in the afterlife than he anticipated, and I, I know you shall simply go straight to the after realms where the rest of our Nishling gods and, and previous Nishlings stay. 
So, d d d be well, be well, coconut. Oh gosh. That's so sad, guys. I did not expect that to happen, but she did just try to save the rest of the, the nichelings by eating the bugs, so... Aww. That should be good. Oh, man. Can I also get Capybara out of here? Uh, okay, we're gonna need some help getting Capybara out of there. He's getting quite the vision right now, unfortunately. Um, and I also need more food. Oh, boy. Here, let's try to get a little bit more food really quickly. Okay, unfortunately, not enough. Oh, boy. We were so good on food, and now suddenly we're not. And no, no, no. Chu is going to die if I don't feed her a healing coconut. Uh, and I think that she actually has a Barina coming to eat her, which is not good. Um, all right. I'm going to get no, 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 Chu over here to eat the healing coconut or healing kumquat. You move little Yuzuno over so that he can say goodbye to his, like, kind of surrogate mom, I guess. Because she she gave birth to his body, at least. That's a really weird way to look at it. Uh, and Zunu, let's get you... Let's get you helping me, like, explore and eat a little bit more. He can do fishing and attacking. He could come over and help with this this Barina issue we've got. And Banana -na 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 the second is actually going to jump over. No, 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 Achu, desperately ill, could not wait for the Berina to go. She needed the healing kumquat or else she would surely die. And Banana -na -na the second shall jump over and get out of the way of getting her sickness and begin to attack the Berina to defend the island. Uh, so let's see, how can I get around? Passion, two, three, okay. Can I, oh my gosh, I can't even get there. Dragon fruit, I think, is actually going to give birth. So we've got to get out of her way. And then Passion can come over here to help defend and fight too. So we've got that group. And then Durian, and then unfortunately, cannot collect or do do squat, basically, <laughs> to help with this situation. Uh, oh, wait, he could collect this if we can get down here. Oh man, this is so... Trixie, we've got a lot happening, guys. A lot happening indeed. Tapair! Tapair can help us, you guys! All right! Curses! Okay, we've licked off the insects, right? Yeah, he's good there. Ah! Apparently he ended up... What, did those turn into bad insects? <gasps> they turned into bad insects! But he got us enough food! And he, too, has saved the tribe from the corrupted plants. So we're making some progress there. And now Limina No No is going to go over here to try to help save Capybara. Phew! Okay! We got some drama happening! And three little babies! Also, get, get away from my pregnant female, Radita. She also wants to feed you to, like, a plant. So you probably want to run for it anyway. Oh my gosh. All right. There we go, friends. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, okay, here we go. So let's see what happens the next day. Oh. <gasps> They're coming for you two again. <laughs> I think that Mies has cursed Nanot's line with being Barina snacks. I think in retaliation for Nanot lying about the tree, Mies has now cursed all of Nanot's line, no matter what body they get reborn into, <laughs> with being absolutely irresistibly delicious Barina snacks. I think that's the fate here, guys. <laughs> Yuzu Nu, for the, in his second lifetime, is once again staring down the waiting gullet of a Barina. <laughs> I cannot believe this. I think that that's just his curse to bear. Through all of his lifetimes and all of his descendants, we will say, have a permanent curse that they will be Barina snackable. I know, right, Pulsey? I feel like he'd just be like, you have got to be joking right now. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Garlic! You guys! We just had our garlic dragon born! Holy cow! Look at her, she's beautiful. She's beautiful. Oh my gosh, garlic and dragon fruit have just had their first child. She can unfortunately practically do nothing. 
Uh, she is not nobility. Like, well, she's nobility, but she's not high nobility. Uh, she does have recessive scorpion tail, which is kind of cool and terrible fertility. Uh, but we have garlic dragon, the daughter of dragon fruit and garlic. Oh my gosh. We're going to have a lot of fun with that pairing. I think, did I give dragon fruit any, I gave her wings. Man, they should have had a high noble baby, but they got stinky tail baby at least. And I love the birth of little garlic dragon. Maybe she'll end up being like really, really awesome for the future. Uh, all right, really quickly. Oh my gosh. I think Capybara is gonna die and have to be reborn. And we're totally out of food. Oh dear. All right, guys, I need to make some tea. We, 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 Olivia, you are right. We have a huge, huge problem here. A huge problem. We're getting low on fertility. Uh, we've got a lot of issues going on. We kind of have to settle a lot of problems. But let's go ahead and break for tea. I'm going to make some fresh tea really quickly. Uh, and we're going to see exactly... Like, I think Capybara is going to have to end up getting reborn. He is slipping into the spirit realm. He went in for a vision and he's just going to poof, which is unfortunate because he had great genes. <laughs> so we'll have to see how that's going to turn out. So uno momento, guys. I'm going to make some more tea. Please enjoy our stream ads and I will return shortly. I know, right, Luna? Everybody here is so sweet. Oh, hey, Tanya. 
Yeah, we kind of have chaos everywhere. <laughs> it's death all over the place. All right, guys, this is our midstream break. My tea is still uh, actually warming up. It's boiling right now. Do you guys have any quick questions for me? It can be any kind of question, including about other series, but only for this five-ish minutes that my tea is boiling. And then we must focus only on niche. And we can focus on niche right now, like behind, uh, behind the scenes sort of stuff or just other things. But I don't want to resume the stream until my tea comes. Hey, Lucy. Ah, Evie the Evie, I'm glad you're enjoying everything. Hey, Kitty Cat Gamer. I don't know which email would have been yours, but I went through and I collected all of the email to, to my uh, fan mail email this morning. I collected all the fan art. So we do actually have some good fan art. Oh, Aya, where do I get my tea? I actually get... Uh, I drink pretty much only two types of tea right now. One is Celestial Seasonings Peach Tea. That's not like sponsored or anything nonsense like that. Uh, it's just the only peach tea I like because it's not overly sweet and it doesn't have any sugar or anything in it. But I order it directly from the website and get it shipped to me in big boxes so that I only have to buy it like maybe once every two months. But I go through a lot of peach tea every day. And the other type of tea that I have is just a loose leaf green tea that actually oh, we got from one of Chips' students who went to China and brought him back some green tea. So I have no idea what it's called because the entire package is in Chinese, <laughs> but it's really good green tea. Yes, Eliza. I have seen you say that. Yeah, I think it's a vacuum cleaner snoot. Luna loves, what happens if Radita dies? Well, he was sickly his whole life, so he would be reborn, but I think he's trying to drag out this life as long as he can. My LPS life, you ask every time, my dear, and every time I say yes, I will be doing more Wolf Quest, but I'm trying to wait until the update, and until then, I've been playing more Wildcraft, which I hope you Wolf Quest lovers have been enjoying. Oh, and there we go. Okay, my tea is done. I will be right back. Uno momento. Oh, hey, Backlog, I just saw your question. So if I have two mugs of tea, I have one mug of tea uh, that's actually, oh, hang on. There we go, sorry about that. I just realized my green tea, I have green tea in one mug, peach tea in the other, and then normal water. You really have to stay hydrated when you stream. <sighs> also Tiss, um, you can actually find out more in our niche wiki. If you look at our wiki, you can see a lot of information about banana -na 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 -na. but in the heartling tribe i do believe that he passed away but it's been a long time since we played the heartlings all right let's dive back in da -na -na -na. Da -na -na -na. oh yeah everything was going wrong <laughs> for a couple blissful minutes of making tea there i forgot how everybody is being eaten by the plants <laughs> and we're also starving to death <laughs> All right, let's try to handle this. Uh, okay, so step number one, I think this Barina needs to not eat baby Yutsu. Zunu, could you help us out with that? Sure enough, sure enough. I think Yutsu just kind of breathes a huge sigh of relief. Nanana Achu is going to go ahead and kind of clean up the area and ask the baby if he's okay. 
And then Banana -na 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 is going to notice this amazing, beautiful, stunning, grape-colored female for the first time. And he is going to have his heart whisked away with 14 days left to live. Yes. He is going to have his heart whisked away. And you will know this, this is the love of his life. Uh, so they're meeting. I'm going to go ahead and Garlic is going to gather more food. And I think he's quite excited about the birth. Oh, yes, we have enough food for a moment. But I do believe that Garlic is quite excited about the birth of another one of his children, but the first child with his love of his life, Garlic Dragon. And I, I think that Dragon Fruit is quite pleased with this situation as well, especially now that the Iberina threat has been neutralized. Um, and there is a bunnel. I think she's a little hungry. We're gonna let her go ahead and get the bunnel as a snack. There we go. And then... We're going to go ahead and allow Durian and in to get some food too. And he is actually going to spend a little bit of time clearing away the grasses because it's about time that we properly started exploring all of this entire island. You know what I mean? Uh, especially because we keep getting eaten. Can't be Bera. I don't think he's going to make it, guys. The environmental damage from the plants uh, is definitely, definitely tough. Oh yeah, back look. I, I answered it. Yeah, I've got green tea in one mug because uh, I have two mugs of peach tea. I have green tea in one and, and peach tea in the other. So that's what... I thought that was the answer to the question, right, backlog? Uh, but alright. And then we've got Limna No No. I don't think she can get over here in time to help. I'm gonna try. We have enough food so she can just straight up run for it. But then where do I run? In a circle? Oh, I can come down here? Is that safe? I don't trust this place anymore. I don't think Capy Bear is gonna make it, guys. So we've gotta get ready for him to be reborn. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, and then we're gonna have to pair, avoid the these bugs without help. And he's gonna think how he too needs a, a help meet, a mate of his own. So we're gonna have him start wiggling over to the tree stump because I want him to call for his mate. Uh, but we'll kind of clear the area. Oh, he did have two moves. Oh, well. He'll get over to this tree stump and start calling a lot of nichelings here. So hopefully we can get a really good gathering class up and going. Oh, you asked about the mugs. I have giraffe mug for one and may the forest be with you for the other. Sorry, backlog. I misunderstood your question. Also, hey, check this out. Tala just got herself some delicious bunnel meat. Oh my gosh. She's finally old enough. She really is a shy creature of the shadows. Uh, and actually, Durian and in needs to wiggle his way over to her, because I think he would be quite impressed by her. Uh, let's see, she is Sticky Tongue Recessive, KNF Immunity, that beautiful scorpion tail, Savannah Horns. <gasps> she absolutely has to be Durian and in's mate, I think, you guys, because she has got Savannah Horn Recessive and Scorpion Tail Recessive. Hello! Oh, wait, you don't have. Ugh, dang it! I got excited because his sisters have savannah horns. Well, maybe we could still get it in the family tree. But Tala, I love her because you wouldn't even know she's here. Like, can you even see her? Can you guys see her at all? You're right, Professor Callium. She is completely a little gothic swamp nicheling. Oh, Lucy, redo the Cookie Tribe in the new update? Maybe. I miss the Cookie Tribe a lot. Just once the game updates, it's really hard to go back to old save files. We might pick, we might go back and like pick our top cookies and recreate them and restart the Cookie Tribe in the future. Cause I know that's a big desire for a lot of you guys, but I also want to do the whims. Um, I want to finish the Ice Age, Phoenix, Rise of the Phoenix. I want to make Phoenixes. I want to finish the Fruit Leaves by having the Moon Mother Bat born. And now when we finish a tribe, because we can recreate the members in a new save, I feel like we can always make their story go on in a new save in new ways. And I'm so happy about that. So when I say finish a tribe, I don't mean forever. I mean that we'll go back and then we may make some members for a new adventure in the future by recreating them in sandbox mode, which is awesome. But I also want to do a Wild West tribe. Where, like, the termites are, are fire ants that they love eating, even if they hurt. I know, right? She's just a silhouette. You can barely see her.
that special moment when the tea is finally, finally cool enough to drink. But alright, so I have a lot of plans for a niche series, um, but the Cookie Tribe I miss a lot. Just they kind of got away from me because I didn't have my- I have a new note system for how I'm keeping track of all of my tribes and what we're doing in them now. And it's helping me a lot. Uh, and I didn't have that note system for the cookies, so I actually struggle to remember what I was even doing. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see is the basic answer. But uh, I do like the cookies. Anyway, let's go ahead and we are going to... I think no, 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 a chew will be quite fretful that every is everyone all right here let me go ahead and get a uh, get some more of these these delicious fruits I, I i just love these fruits so we're gonna have nana achu step over and bump into uh banana nana the second as she does so and i think that their eyes are going to meet and he is just going to know this is the love of his life so let's review their He's already got Batwing and Dots in his traits. What do you guys think we should give Nana Na a chew? She has blind eye recessive. She has no horns. She's got melanism, which isn't a big deal in this tribe, but it is in the alternative universe tribe. And she's got fantastic fertility. We need to breed this girl up for her fertility, if nothing else. Oh my gosh. So what do you guys think we should give Nana Na a chew? Uh, I'm kind of thinking, I kind of think we should give her nimble fingers because she has been such a protective gatherer and she has really helped to take care of this tribe. And I kind of think we should give her normal eyesight. Well, yeah, that's, I mean, it's not a huge chance for blind eyes, but still. Horns? What kind of horns can we give her? We can give her ram horns. I kind of think ram horns would be kind of cute. I'm sort of leaning towards nimble fingers and ram horns because it's such a low chance that they could have blind eye babies. Or do you think stinky tail? Do you think stinky tail? I, I kind of think stinky tail. I think for sure nimble fingers. Maybe, like I kind of feel like they're both from gatherer tribe. So I really don't think we'll give her bat wing, ironically. Aw, uh, Oscar, the cookies are from ages ago. Ironically, the cookies are from like two months, three months ago. <laughs> Doesn't that feel like forever ago? But two or three months is not a long time. That's such a surreal feeling. Horns? Okay, we're gonna go, ooh, violet eyes. Hmm, I do like violet eyes. All right, I'm thinking we can't give her Savannah horns. We can give her normal ram horns. Okay, I'm seeing a lot of, a better, a better snoot. Well, actually, I kind of like their snoots. I think that like, I think they both have the chance of... Ooh, Crackerjaw! I knew I liked you, Nana! The only other snoot we could get is kind of smelling, which is okay. But the uh, perk of derp snoot is that it does actually have distasteful appearance, which is why the Berina didn't try to eat her. Also, she's toxic bodied. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do ram horns and sneaky tail, because I agree with a lot of you guys. I think that would be a cool mix. Perhaps not the most logical, but a cool mix. All right. Okay, here comes the next test. What romance shall banana na 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 whisper into na 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 a choose na na a choose ears? And actually, they would really reunite over the na na names, I think. Uh, so, what wonderful, delightful things shall he whisper into her ears in order to convince her that he is the right mate? Also, perhaps because their child is going to have to be named Capybara. <laughs> we'll have to see what will happen. <laughs> um, I think he will speak of her glorious, generous green eyes, which clearly reflect the generosity and beauty of her soul. It worked! Okay. Talking about her glorious eyes and beautiful generosity was the way to go. We have got a baby incoming with Nanana Achu. Uh, it's gonna be three days before she gives birth. So for now, she's gonna get some food. We're gonna have Banana Nana the second scooch over so he doesn't get sick from her. We have enough food. We have a baby on the way! I am so excited! Oh my gosh! Uh, we're gonna go ahead and let Passion Fruit uh, start exploring. So she's gonna get with her siblings and they're gonna start doing a lot more exploring because we've got to start clearing this grass away if we're going to do like anything for survival 
I just think you two know, knew the second is sitting here going like, oh my gosh. Ugh, even this life is hard. The bones of his surrogate mother behind him. Maybe Zunu. You know what? I feel like Zunu, who has spent a lot of time over here, I feel like he and Yutsunu have both kind of had like a tough life. Zunu was bossed around by like the royal snoots for most of his life. And then little Yutsu has been like chased by bad luck for most of his life. I think these two are going to be good buddies. Technically, their spirits are the same age, so they happen to know each other. I think they're going to take over his little family land again together. I think Zunu and I think that Yuzunu are going to be like, you know what? Forget all this nonsense. And they're going to they're going to take over this little land together and just establish themselves here. And we'll see if we can attract a wanderer for them as mates. Awesome. All right. Oh, hey, Rachel. Yeah, we've got a lot of cool stuff going on, but you can always watch the, the archives, by the way, if you've missed out on things. Or you could look at the wiki, which sometimes might have a summary. And in the future, I'm going to need your guys' help to start picking, like, highlight sections for our streams. I'll talk about that in a future update video. <gasps> Radija, look at how far you can go. This is so cool. All right, friends. And then finally, out of uh, all of the nichelings, Radita has gained the ability to fly. He is about to shock the spots off of the nichelings of this island. Are you guys ready? He is gonna go ahead. And just as Dragonfruit sees that there is a, a hungry ancestor plant available and waiting in order to feed the baby too, uh, he's gonna be like, nope, and he's gonna fly straight over her head. Look at that, he flew! He's gonna eat this healing fruit, and he is free! Radita used fly! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, Pink Diamond, yeah, I have a whole series on Warrior Cats, several actually. All right, all right, let's do this. Capybara! No! Capybara! <sighs> okay. Capybara. You guys, next baby born, it's Capybara. <laughs> so that's gonna have to happen. We're gonna have to deal with this. Wait, is this plant still active? This plant's still active! No, 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 I saw that coming. I saw that coming. And you know what I said? No, 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 no. Lemon, no, 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 no. Come help us with this. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. And we saved Burnberry again. Oh my gosh. Ugh. Burnberry. I think you're also getting old. So I think, are you, do you and Lemon and Nono smell, smell good to each other? No, you don't. Do you smell good enough? Maybe. I think that Burberry is a man of like uh, simple needs, simple questions. And and he was rescued. You know what? This is the second time that Limina no 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 has acted as the knight in armor and saved a nicheling. Should we go ahead and should we allow uh Burberry and Limina no 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 even though they have not the best genetics? Should we just let them to have at least one child? Because Limina no 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 this is the second time she has rescued someone's life. Burberry is of the nobility level, so it would kind of be cool. Um, should we go ahead and just let them let them potentially have a child together? What do you guys think? I kind of think like we will. Yes, exactly, Coco Smiles. I am eternally grateful. Have my child. I think we're gonna go ahead and let it happen because even though they don't have very good genetics and there's a chance it could be a sickly child, in which case it would have to be immediately reborn. Um, I think that Burberry also is not very picky and he's just gonna be like, you know what? I'm old, I almost died again. Uh, and maybe that's the vision that he saw while he was within the plants. <laughs> Maybe he saw the vision of like, I I should leave my legacy. I'm old now. If I die now, because he's passed half his life, I will not be reborn. I must leave my legacy. 
So let's go ahead and limit a no-no. We'll we'll come over and he will he will enchant. Uh, she's enchanted Burberry actually, and Burberry may have gotten kind of a kick in the the rump by his ancestors to be like, hey, if you want your legacy left, get to it, buddy. Chop chop. Um. And there's a lot of no paw. Yeah, I agree. There's a lot of no paw, a lot of digging paw. We have bat wing that he could possibly pass on. And he also has short sighted eyes and blind eyes, which is actually how I think we walked into this plant multiple times because he wasn't able to see it, even though we kept trying to see it with like the um, the different the different smell and sight of vision. So do you guys think we should give him a uh, normal eyesight? I think normal eyesight or a normal paw. She has fine eyesight. So what do you guys think? Normal eyesight or a better collecting paw? He already has bat wing, and I think that's a good enough chance. Unless you guys, well, what do you guys think we should give him? My, my vote is either normal eyesight, paw, or flight. But if he can't see anything, I don't know how good they would be at flying. Oh, thanks, Gemstone. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Okay, we're gonna go with normal eyesight. Thank you guys. I think that that's gonna be the most important. Now let's see if you can romance her. Thank you. You are my my citrus shining hero. Rescuer. Clearly you have a brave and bold heart. It didn't work. Um, let's see. So she didn't really want to be uh, called a rescuer. Let me know no wants something a little bit more, <sighs> a little bit different in life. Hmm. Here, under the swaying of the stinky cum fruit, fruit, I, I, I can only think of my gratitude and your wonderful beauty. Didn't work. All right. Well, we're gonna have to see if we can romance Lemon No No. She's apparently a little bit of a tough nut to crack. Uh, so we'll come back to that. <laughs> All right. Meanwhile, Radita is gonna nope out of here. Check this out! He can actually collect snails and call for mates! Oh my gosh! Just as dragon fruit was probably reaching for him to feed him to this plant. That is so freaking cool! Eat those snails, buddy! Oh my gosh. What is the series we've been doing a lot of snails in lately? Zoo crafting! We've been so much in zoo crafting about snails lately. Oh, don't be a sour lemon, Lil. That's hilarious. That was really cool. All right, next baby is gonna be Capybara. Gotta remember that, don't let me forget, guys. Uh, so Radita has used uh, run away and now, and then fly, and now nobody can reach him because no one else can fly. So I think Dragonfruit is a little bit put out. She's like, what am I supposed to <laughs> That is not how we do things around here, young man. Get down here and feed yourself to this plant immediately. But she's kind of just like the, the royal guard, basically. So that's why she would find that a little bit perplexing. Uh, I'm gonna actually, she has such a long life ahead of her, I'm gonna let her do a little bit of clearing of the grass before she and Garlic have another child. And I think Garlic is just going to be so full of pride about his daughter Garlic Dragon that they will stay over here. Meanwhile, on this side of the island, I think little Yutsunu is going to come with Zunu and they're just gonna start wiggling their way towards the Nanut tree that is not actually the Nanut tree but he thinks it is because they're sick of this this chaos and they're just going to try to make life work here and Zunu is going to help out little Yutsu. And meanwhile over here, Tala is going to start eating the toxic berries. <gasps> yes! Yes! Where is it? Where is it? Yes! She only has to eat 48 more times and then we'll have toxic body unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna take us a while, but it will get us to our stream goal of toxic fruit bats super easy. That'll be so cool. Uh, all right, who else needs? Oh, that's right. Taper. There you go. <gasps> Taper's in his spot, ready to call. Let's see if he summons up a mate. You guys ready? With his tiny royal snoot up in the air, he shall show. Go ahead, and he shall call out. Hem hem. Hem hem. Love of my life, to be. Did it work? 
<gasps> healing fruits! A lot of healing fruits! Kiwi could have survived! This is why we need wanderers clearing the island. Oh man. Uh, all right. No, no, no. Achu is going to go ahead and gather up some food. We're going to go ahead and have Passion jump down. I think, I think just being up there, you can actually gather things, Backlog. I know, Tapir, shout your loudest. Unfortunately, he has not attracted a mate yet. We'll have to see. And meanwhile, Passion, do you see anything near you yet? Okay, there's a plant here. So we're gonna start finding like resource locations, like bushes, and clearing paths to them. Cause this is absolutely ridiculous that we keep dying. And we're also just gonna start clearing all of the grass with our wanderers so I can see what we're doing. All right, there we go, there we go. But then no, the second is so excited about the upcoming birth of Capybara <laughs> because Capybara has gotta be reborn. And that handles everybody. Okay, how we doing? Pretty good. I know, I normally I'm a little slower at making the day pass, so sorry about that if you were like a little caught off guard. Wait, did you just get... Oh! Can Nieschlings not get sick from sickly Nieschlings if they're in a tree? <gasps> That's so cool! Oh my gosh! We're gonna have to remember that, guys. That's really cool. Alright, well let's see what we've got over here. Oh yes, the royal, or the romance that we're trying to do. Like, all right, let's try again. Clearly, my dear, I mean it. I have never before thought about settling down, leaving behind a legacy. But seeing your bravery, the heroic nature that you have, the way that you stepped up to rescue so many, I love you. Yay, it worked, okay. Burberry, you're having some babies. Congratulations, old man. Uh, Limit a no-no. I think she's gonna go ahead and just start like clearing the grass around here, kind of trying to make things more comfortable, more home-like, uh, and we'll have to see what their baby is going to look like. We'll come back over to Pear in a second. Meanwhile, we can do a little bit of clearing here because Passion, she can't do anything else, unfortunately. So she's just gonna help us to discover our lands a little easier. Ditto on her brother Durian and in. So at least we're starting to actually see the island, which is a good thing. Friendly Varina is friendly. Apparently, even if we don't offer him food. I guess you only have to offer him food if you want to be able to like have his babies. Good to know. Oh, look at that. I could have sworn this jungle was full of so much death. So much death over here. But instead, as we clear away the shadows, we see the only thing we had to fear was primarily fear itself, but also a Varina and a few plants that will eat you. Hmm. Noted. All right, and then we have garlic. He's gonna gather up more food. Very excited about baby garlic dragon. I think waiting until garlic dragon's old enough to get out of the nest is a good pace for those two to have babies. Meanwhile, dragon fruit is going to examine this area, which is quite dangerous, so we need to be careful. There is a plant that can eat nichelings here. Uh, and then over here, Ranata is gonna go ahead and continue to eat some snails. And I might have him fly over to the other side of the island where the healing fruits are in just a little bit. Uh, we're going to let Tala continue to eat. And do they turn aggressive once they reach adulthood if you don't tame them? Oh, uh, it will? Okay, we'll go ahead and we'll tame the friendly berry in a next move if that's the case. Meanwhile, Zunu, he's just gonna take out that whole bush for now because we're on a mission. And we're gonna start wiggling over with Yuzunu to take over this side of the island. Things are turning up peachy. Look at this. And I'm not a chew. You just have to live long enough to have like reborn Kiki Vera, okay? <gasps> you guys, did you see that? Did you see that? Who are you? <gasps> what a name! What? Oh my gosh. Passion. Who did you find? Oh my gosh! El Reva? What a beautiful name that is! Why do I feel that you two are actually like a perfect couple? Just like a bolt from the blue! You can't have babies! I'm sure you guys could figure it out! Oh my gosh! I don't know why, I just... 
I just really feel like they, there's a deep connection between these two. She doesn't really have genes that were super duper eager, other than maybe that immunity to, to pass on either. And neither does passion. Well, she's got a few things that we'd want to pass on. But I don't know. I just feel like we'll have to see where that goes. Maybe it's a brief whirlwind romance, but we'll have to see. I, I just, she's a spiky princess from another land. Exactly, Retta. Exactly. This is, this is, this is amazing. We will have to see what will happen here. Oh my gosh. What? Taper! Wait, was that for Taper? Was that the mate that Taper called, actually? I don't know. I, I feel like, ah, oh, I'm gonna have to think about this. I'm gonna have to think about this. I don't think that's the mate that Taper called. He did just call for a mate and she is a perfect smelling mate. But I, I, okay, we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Maybe this is supposed to be his mate. Spiky body, huh? Man, I don't know what it is. This is so interesting. I feel like potassium and El I feel like this was a, a bolt from the blue connection, though. So I don't think Taper is like her type. Yeah, sorry, Taper. You, you're kind of like the Cupid of the island now, though. You summoned love. Uh, I mean, the only reason. You know, Limina No 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 was on the side of the island was to save you, and now she and Burberry have ended up together. And I really think that, like, El Elva has has just had a bolt from the blue connection with passion. Sorry, buddy, do. Uh, so we'll have to see. But we'll have to see. Like, maybe maybe she'll be willing to have a baby with you anyway. Uh, we'll have to think about it. It, it for the good of the tribe. Until then, sing on, sing on, little friend. All right. Yeah, I think that she did hear his call, but then her eyes met Passion's eyes. But we'll have to see what happens. Maybe they'll both end up having children with the pair. Passion, do you match? Oh, they do! <gasps> That'll work! They're not going to be in love with him, but they would at least have, like, healthy babies. Huh, that would actually work really well. And that could be how they could have kids. I think we could make that work, guys. That'd be really cool. Okay. We'll have to, we'll have to check that out. Uh, okay. Everybody good? Everybody good. Gotta tame this Barina. So far so good. Uh oh. Aw oh, man! We didn't tame the Barina and now he wants to eat us. Really? Really? Is that the way that things are gonna go? Okay buddy. Okay. We're gonna have to see. Uh, we're gonna have to see how we're gonna make this happen. Uh, okay, well step number one deal with not losing the beautiful uh, Elreva because oh my gosh, she's stunning Passion oh she invited her into the tribe. She can actually collect a little bit. So she is she's got no bat traits So she is entirely collecting and gathering class um, Passion can actually jump over here and help with the defense one two one two three Sorry little Barina uh, we're gonna be able to take care of this Barina shortly. Garlic Dragon is now old enough to get out of the nest. So, yeah, this is exciting. I am so excited that Elva is here. Okay, let's see. And then let's go ahead and Dragon Fruit. I think you're about ready to have another baby. So, let's clear away a couple pieces of grass. And then let's have you come over. Somebody is eating my food. <gasps> Who are you? Hello, little Ellie. What? Hi. You smell bad. But welcome to the tribe. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a little loud. But you guys, if you looked at her jeans, does she not almost look like a long lost younger sister of Taper? Look at her genetics. She's a little orphan. She's a little orphan who has recessive toxic body. Pretty much the same genetics in a lot of ways as to pair. Um, I don't know how soon she'll grow up, so maybe this is actually supposed to be to pair's real mate of his life. But first, like, she's a little lost wanderer. What is happening? Okay, let's jump down. Uh, welcome into the tribe, little one. She can actually collect as well, which is very nifty. I highly appreciate that. Does she have recessive bat head? <gasps> she has recessive bat head. Maybe. 
She is descended from royalty, and she is a long-lost princess. I think this is, when she grows up, supposed to be the mate of Taper. And I think he was being told that even though he wants to follow his snoot, he needs to be not quite so picky. But we'll have to see. She's still a child. We need to go ahead and allow her to grow up and see if they do fall in love. Um, so, yeah, we'll have to see. She's really cute. What should we name her? A little Elvie. Um, I saw the name Peach pe for Peach Tea going around a lot earlier, and I actually like that. So she's going to be named Peach, because she actually is probably as close to the coloring as we can get in Niche as a peach. Um, anyway, <laughs> a long lost princess descended from the royal line. She actually would be really good as a mate for Tapere on that level, because she like it, it, she has the perfect genes for a little bit of odd, awkward royal inbreeding. Hmm. All right, this is this is pretty good, guys. We're making do. I think we have a baby due today as well. So let's settle in. No, no, no. Achoo! Does not have long to live, but she can settle in and go ahead and give birth to a healthy baby in just a moment here. Uh, Garlic can gather up some more food for his beloved mate, Dragon Fruit, as they continue to settle on the island. Then we've also got Zunu. Man, it takes forever for you, Zunu, to grow up. Oh man, now he's sickly! Radita! Dude, did you have to? I'm gonna have Radita start flying around the island and maybe explore for us. Uh, we've also got Zunu. He's gonna come over, clear away some of this grass. Is this regrowing grass? It is not. So that we can start seeing things better and help little Yuzunu to get back to his father's tree. She is Princess Peach! I love it! Let's actually name her that. Little Lost Princess Peach. I love it, you guys. Wonderful. Alright. And then I think, yeah, we have another pregnancy over here, but I don't know if we'll be able to see this one by the end of the day. Uh, we need to get away from the spot where this plant regrows. <laughs> so that's actually going to be like... Uh, one of the most- whoops, I didn't mean to make a nest, but we made a nest. I guess Lemina No-No is like literally in her nesting stage of her pregnancy. Uh, we're gonna get away from the plant, so we're actually gonna come around the side a little. We can gather some more food. Burberry has a couple days to stick around before he has to go feed himself to a plant. And Tala is gonna eat some more of these toxic berries. Okay, there we go. All right, guys, I think we're doing good. Do we have a baby to be born today? If you sit on the plant, it can't grow back? Oh man. Well, are you sure? Because it already had a little sprout. But I guess it couldn't grow up then. But I think that's okay, it's an ancestor plant. You can't really sit on your ancestors for too long. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and see what baby, the baby, Capybara. Since Capybara died, no matter what, this is going to be Capybara new, uh, reborn. <laughs> So let's go ahead and see what na 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 achoo and banana na 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 the second child uh, who will be known maybe as Capybara Na so he can carry at least some of their family name is going to be. <gasps> a lot just happened here. We might want to take a second to take this in. A lot just happened here. Okay, for one, the gods have clearly blessed, clearly blessed, uh, but na 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 the second, and have clearly blessed, um, you know, our wonderful na 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 achoo, with a gift, because now we can have Capybara be reborn in one, and they can also pass on their own personal, like, lineage with their own babies. It's the very first twins we have ever had on the island. We are blessed by the god of fertility and snow, Lala slash Yuki. How freaking amazing. They are adorable. Uh, they are both female. One is, oh my gosh, one randomized with the name Varina. Guys, should we leave that name? And the other is Riraba. So I think this should be Capybara. Like Capybara. Capybara new, Capybara new, 
Uh, born as a lemon, lemony female with toxic body this time. And the other one, I think I kind of want to leave her name. Very na 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 Because that is so cool! <laughs> but yeah, even though it's a female, like, one of them had to be Capybara. So this is going to be Capybara uh, New. Or Capybara Na. Because maybe it's a female. There we go. So Capybara came back as a female this time. I think that she is a little bit like, whoa. But she also came back with a twin named Vera na 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 uh, That, in fact, I wonder, Kiki, Kiki Vera na, I wonder if we should change up the names just a little bit. What do you guys think about uh, Kiki na? Just Kiki na. Kiki na. I kind of think Kiki na. That, that rolls off the tongue a little bit better. And also, like, there's been a lot of change. So we're going to leave this one, Vera na 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 na. And uh, Capyna, which we know is for Capybara, but I, I kind of think that Capybara is like, you know, not really feeling the bear thing right now, so we're just going to be Capyna. Uh, Capybara? Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys win on that. Capybara. <laughs> there we go. Capybara. That's going to be Capybara. Na. Uh, na or new at the end of the names will indicate... Here, we'll take off the second as well. Because that'll indicate that they've been reborn. So who else was reborn? Yutsu? We'll take off the number. And if it's like a, a third reborn for some tragic reason, we'll just add an extra vowel. There we go. I would like to buy a vowel, Alex. Alright, so that happened. However, someone... Okay, we had a birth. Awesome. Kipibera is now Kipipera. Awesome. Uh, someone died. Oh! <gasps> Second, the moment his twins were born has died atop the soil. This is terrible. This is tragic. We will never again forgive ever again. We will never ever again forgive the Berina. There can be no forgiveness. They have taken from us Yutsu. They have taken from us Banana -na 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 -na, the second, the one of the orphans that we originally found on this island. For our, we will never again turn our heads and say, oh, a friendly Berina. Well, it's just an orphan. There is no need to fret. That is unacceptable. Unacceptable. Because atop the soil now rests the bones of Banana -na the second. A tragic moment indeed. Curses. All right, and we have little Princess Peach. We oh, and Tala has grown up to full age. I really need to just toss Jury in on the. I think that he would be so horrified by the events that happened here that he would want to begin his exploration on this side of the island. Because I think Tala, I think she'd be just a, a very good mate for him. And I think Radata is on his way to hunt down more healing fruits so that he can survive his full life instead of having to be reborn. So yes, to war! To war with the Marina! But welcoming the new twins upon the island. Uh, alright guys, so... <laughs> yeah, we can't have Bananada reborn because he was- he died upon- He was old for one thing and he died upon the soil. So his spirit has not joined the island, but has instead gone onward to the greater- the greater nicheling beyond. But, alright my friends, yes, rest and peels, rest and peels. But it has been the full two hours that we shall have with these nichelings today. And I think this is a good place to leave off. We're about to have Burberry's first baby with lemon and no, 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 no. Uh, if Burberry actually eats a healing fruit, he'll live a lot longer. I forgot about that, but he will live a lot longer and could possibly have more babies. Um, we have little Princess Peach who tentatively, it's a tentative betrothal, might become the mate of Taper. However, I do think that both Passion and uh, El Reva, who I think have just fallen for each other in ways they can't even put into words, I think they'll actually come over and they might they might borrow Taper for babies so that we can spread more of the genes we want. Uh, but we're doing good. We're doing good. <laughs> All right, guys. So any last minute questions, let's go ahead and watch our beautiful 
fan art, the new fan art that came in. There we go. But I had such a great time. What are some of your guys' favorite, uh, favorite things that happened today? I'm gonna need your guys' help because one of the things I wanna do once we start getting the uh, the stream on, up, like uploaded afterward, is I wanna start going through and like timestamping some of the best bites and making like stream highlights. I'll make a little video talking about how I'm gonna need your help with that. But I just would love to know what you guys remember from what we did just for a couple minutes. Oh, hey, Pufferfish. Uh, it's actually a custom built desktop. Yinax, Barina hybrids would be fine. We're just at war with the aggressive hybrids. Lucy, um, I don't know if it's in this stream, but in previous streams, you can actually find uh, a link to the forum page on the official niche forums on how to install the update. Whose tail is an actual banana? Oh, I guess anybody with those kinds of yellow tails. And Radita did manage to escape, which I'm pretty, oh, the Radita escape was really fun. That was awesome. Aw, thank you, Kawaii Sky. I'm glad you enjoyed all the parts. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, and Calium, I don't know if there's other nichelings yet who should be counted as a hero. Uh, I would say that his sister, like, Banana Nana is a hero, and I would say that Banana Nana, his sister, is also a hero. Um, but as time goes on, we'll, we'll pick out more nichelings who should be gods for our nicheling pantheon and add to it in our wiki. And we'll pick out more nichelings who should be heroes. Oh my gosh, so many of you guys love how, uh, how we ended up having Radita use fly. That makes me so happy. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, right, Tis Petal Leaf. Oh, and the birth of our first twin, Sophia. You guys are so good with that. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. Wow. Yeah, I cannot wait for you guys. I, I'm kind of excited now to see if we get any fan art about the great Radita escape. Because Radita used fly and he's out of there. You're not feeding this boy to some plant. But alright guys, thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and settle in. I've got a lot more recording to do for our adventures coming up. I hope you guys enjoyed the surprise random video that I made of the lion and the lamb having babies in our Sims 4 this morning. And I hope that you will all join me with more adventures next week. Uh, if things, I don't know how next week's going to look because it should just be a normal week, but it is my birthday next week. So I don't know if like Chips has anything planned that he hasn't told me about. So just know that. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. I had a wonderful, wonderful afternoon and I can't wait for next week when we will carry on with their story because there's a lot happening here. All right, so bye guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day full of a lot of joy. Seek out those joy moments and I will see you next time.